and are being misled. We are, they are being confused. Uh, you know, and astaghfirullah by people you know who say simply brother we have to pray the way the prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam prayed the prophet said this this is in bukhari this is what the imam says so who are you going to pray like like imam abu hanifa or the way the prophet prayed but again just as in the quran there is no complete description of the prayer Similarly, there isn't a single hadith anywhere, single hadith, sahih hadith anywhere, which mentions the prayer from the beginning till the end. If there is any hadith, I would definitely like to know. If there is any, anybody finds a single hadith which describes the prayer from the beginning till the end in its complete cycle, I want to know. And in fact, you can't even go beyond takbir, let alone other issues. You know, holding the hands, this is afterwards. Ruku, whether you raise your hands before ruku, after ruku, this is long after. Where you hold your hands is long after. What you do, how, whether you recite Fatiha behind the Imam or not, is long after. You can't even go beyond takbir. Takbir. And I will show you how. It does mention, it does mention in hadith, he hadith is, there are various narrations when the Prophet wasallam would begin his salah, he would raise his hands up to your shoulders, in some hadiths up to his ears, in other hadiths, we accept both. Some people would say, no, this is more authentic to the shoulders, so this is what you have to do, the other one is less authentic, so we will leave that. But the Prophet didn't say that. The Prophet prayed like that as well. But even if a person wants to raise his hands up to your shoulders, but this is not all that you do when you raise your hands. There are, there are issues regarding takbir. If, for example, and I will show you, raising of the hands, yes, you're going to raise your hands, but before you can raise your hands, you need to do something, you need to stand. Are you going to raise your hands, you know, you're going to join salat here, and you're coming through the door, are you going to raise your hands over there, and just, you know, Allahu Akbar, and start walking in your salat as well? What do you do? You go to where you want to pray first and before you can even raise your hands you need to stand in the place where you're going to pray. Now it makes mention where, where you should st uh, how you know where you raise your hands up to the ears or the shoulders, okay, we accept both. And in Bukhari, it makes mention of shoulders, yes, uh, uh, of shoulders, okay, we accept that. In other had books of hadith, makes mention up to the ears. But when you stand to raise your hands, how are you going to stand? I will stand here. Now, you can either stand like this, with your feet pointing to the Qibla, and with minimum gap what did the prophet say about how much gap should be in between your feet if you're going to stand like that as many brothers do where is the hadith to say you stand like that if you're going to stand like this which most ah ahnaf do Sahih hadith, because we've got no problem in such undefined, controversial issues, ambiguous issues, we follow Mujtahid scholar. Hanafis will follow Imam Abu Hanifa, Shafis will follow Imam Shafi, Hanbali will follow Imam Ahmad bin Hanbal, Malikis will follow Imam, Imam Malik and so on. But he who wants to pray strictly by Sahih hadith, 
I would like to know where is the Sahih Hadith regarding how far you should place your feet. That's, what, that's the first point. Second point about Takbir. You're going to raise your hands. It only makes mention the Prophet raised his hands up to the shoulders or up to the ears. But you can raise your hands in a number of different ways. You can raise your hands like this. Or I just saw somebody raise his hands like this. If this is wrong, where is the hadith to say it's wrong? And if this is right, where is the hadith to say you raise your hands and you keep your fingers together facing the qibla? Sahih hadith. And then when you come to takbir, you haven't started yet. This is even before you say takbir. And when you're going to say takbir, there are different ways. You can either say Allahu Akbar or Allahu Akbar. Samjay? You can either say takbir and then bring your hands down or you can bring your hands down and then say takbir. Yeah? Or you can say Allahu Akbar. You bring your hands down while saying takbir. But I would like to know where is the sahih hadith to say do it like this. There isn't one. So if we want to go strictly by sahih hadith, we can't even go beyond takbir. Let alone, you know, where you place your hand.